Hi. We're starting to take off the rear uh, wheel lift. Just going to drop it there so that I can get in underneath of this and try and get the frame cleaned up and new mounts put on it. Uh, I think we're just going to hook the chain falls up. Right about uh, there and then somewhere's down here and then I'm going to take the slack off of these two chains, the one down there and here. And hopefully it'll just kind of slide out and then, yeah. We're gonna do, I think, is we're gonna take these ramps and run them back to back and literally drive the truck up in order to clear the wheel lift on the back frame and hopefully that will give us enough because the bumper's still there. So we'll see what happens. Mm. Mm, go ahead. Whoa! Yeah, you're good. No, keep going! So it's actually going to be easy, easier to clean these up. We had to split these in order to get the pin out. So now we'll be able to bevel these out, run a dummy pin in them, and then uh, weld them up, and then pull the pin out. And in here, we got tons of room now. So we're going to pull this back up on those wheel lifts back in the garage so I can get underneath of it pretty decent. And uh, we're going to go at her. doubled up makes it a lot easier to get underneath here and work and right up there right there that's your mount that we got to replace and you can see the two by three that it's attached to is literally pretty much gone now that goes up and like I said before in the other video it attaches right back there on the frame so we're gonna wash all those welds off we're gonna cut that off put a new piece in new bracket it's the same on the other side, except, um, yeah, it's gone. Again, we'll just wash that off in there. Clean that up, put new brackets on. And that's really all that uh, holds the wheel lift. There's your big old Dana 80. Brand new gas tank on her. All right, let's get to it. So I'm going to take the side brackets off the back here so we can get at the 2 by 3 And then before I do all that, i got to cut uh, the wires off. Get rid of the well, ball, cut the zip ties to get the wires pulled back so that we don't melt them. We'll start with cutting off the zip ties and then we'll get into the plasma. Welcome to this smoky old garage. I'm thinking we can just tie these up out of the way. Later, I'll just up over that. 
the other side. We're gonna have to rewire the whole thing anyway for the new lights shown. Yeah, it'll be a process. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know a guy who's pretty good at wiring over here. He may need to tow someday too. Well, you know. seized in the bar and not the cylinder. Ask me what you said you there, Sean. Cakes do we got, Sean? <laughs> and you know, I asked you for that light, and that's got a light on it. It's like a three in one. I love that little tool. I really like them pincher grabber things, like since I got that thing. Let's try this again. Smoke the old grass. Get it. Yeah, you're addicted to the fumes. Please <laughs> <clears throat> come up with a better plan. Yeah, that's over the way. Blue breaker. <laughs> Welcome back to Smokey Old Grant. We're still burning mounts. We're gonna get Aaron to start uh, knocking that one off the other side. Yeah, just give it a couple smacks up here, a couple smacks down there. Yeah, let's get some loose. Oh, this? Yeah. That piece. Yeah, not that. No. All the way back to the back side? Yep, 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 yep. Try to get dead center on them? Well, this probably draws it through the first one. Doesn't have to go through the middle. Just goes Yep. Yep. Moving on there.
Okay, so we got one side already cut off, and basically now we're just going to cut this side off, wash the welds off, all the way to the back. This one's already been taken out, wash the welds off, didn't compromise too much of the actual beam itself. Got the wheel lift mounts out, and uh, we'll get into making those here in another video. Till next time, see you later, Buzzy.